Uh, hello and welcome back. Uh, this is a very short video. Um, I just wanted to post this because I could not find the answer to this problem, no matter how hard I googled. Um, and what it is, is making anchor links in Markdown, specifically for GitHub. Uh, you know how there's those little blue words that you can click, and then it brings you down to a portion of the uh, of the readme or whatever? Um, you know, especially if you're really long readme, you want to do that? Uh, that's an anchor link. Uh, let me show you how this works. So let's make a test. Let's do just a header, right? You know, this is the top of my readme. And then say I want to make a section called defines. So what I do is I type in the text, defines, that's the, that's the text I want to show. And then the link will be defines. So then way down here, way down here, way down here. Uh, I will put in the header. Boom. Our defines. So basically, if you go up here, this hashtag right here, this hashtag links to a header. Somewhere in the page, it will link to a header. Um, and then when you click this text, the defines text, it will bring you to that header. Now, what happens if you have a header uh, that say you want to do this, you want to do custom, right? You want a header with, uh, with non-standard characters. In that case, you have to make a custom, you have to make a custom name and I'm going to show you. So what you have to do is just make the custom name. Um, so also uh, one side note, if there's spaces, um, just use a dash. Uh, but a space, but anything else, um, you need to use cut. You need to use a custom name. Uh, so make your custom name. So it's gonna be custom dash names, not slash. And then bring all the way down here. And then down here, you gotta make your header. But you have to have a custom name first. So let's do the header not denoter, then you do an HTML name field, a name equals custom names. Then you can close it right away. And then you can do custom names. Okay, so let's just add here. Let's just do this. And if you click custom names, it would bring you down to custom names, but just something you uh, take my word for it because in here, uh, in the uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, preview window it, it doesn't support custom names but it will work on github uh, so that's it uh, so i wanted to show you and see you next time